How's it hanging fellow Thamorus and this is another episode of Borderlands in today's episode I noticed something while I had this menu on and I was just doing something in the background First thing I noticed is, is that this music is kind of nice But check it out we got pistol proficiency, SMG proficiency, shotgun, assault rifles, sniper rifles, rocket launchers and was this Iridian weapon proficiency? Uh, Iridian weapons show up later in the game but something that caught my attention here is the fact that I was keep saying in this game that revolvers are a different kind of weapon other than pistols. But then why the fuck don't you have a revolver efficiency? Well, because I'm a dumbass and I was lying to you, I guess. But for some reason, I guess revolvers have the same efficiency as pistols. So if you use pistols, you're also getting better with revolvers. But then... But then, um... But then they have a different we uh, ammo pool, so I don't get that, really. But anyway, last episode we did some bullshit, uh, I don't remember what. I don't really give a fuck to. So in today's episode, uh, I have some side quests to do, and we can find... Lost caves are difficult, fuck. Alright, I'm gonna go on scavenge and ha scavenger hunt, I guess. Which uh, I kind of fucked up. I should have done that scavenger thing while I was in that area last episode, but I didn't hit mission active, so it's not too bad. We're gonna go do it now, and maybe I'll even go to the lost caves. <gasps> By the way, today is Friday the the fourteenth. Oh, it's Friday the fourteenth. I hope I won't get murdered by Jason. You know that Crystal Lake is an actual place? So I wonder if they do something on every Friday the 13th. Like, do they do a little, like, uh, Friday the 13th marathon with, like, a spooky atmosphere? I've heard it's, like, a private uh, place, so you can't just, like, walk in. But I also heard that apparently they do have a... a model of Jason. That they drowned in the lake. So if you would ever go, oh my god, bad at one. So if you ever go to Camp Lake and you go scuba diving or whatever, you actually would find fucking Jason smashing. Anyway, Yeah, so, what the fuck? I was complaining last episode about the lack of customization in the Yakuza 7. I complained about that quite a lot. And unfortunate, and I was like, not sure. Is that the case? Like, you can only customize your character while they're in the battle? And I think in Premium Adventure you just can... But like... My issue, and it turns out it's true, you cannot fucking customize your character while you're outside of battles. Ichiban just simply has to wear his red suit. And look, I don't fucking hate the red suit, I just fucking wish I could, I don't know, have something different on my own. He got a big ass explosion and caught me. And, um, but like I fucking bought the Steelbook edition and everything and I got the whole Legends outfit back. You know, I got Majima's Tuxedo, I got Kiryu suit from Yakuza 0, I got Daigo's outfit. And that kind of pissed me off. And yes, I can customize them, but I, it's true, you can only have them while you're in a battle, which sucks. A lot, I really hate it. You know what I figured? I should probably open these uh, golden crates more often because I got these golden crates. I got these like 70 fucking golden keys. He said there's too many, there's only one. I'm all by myself. And I guess the game really did expect me to fucking play with friends. Check it out, I got a sniper rifle piece. 
This game doesn't even show you like the area where the item should be. It's just like, well, it's in, around here. Yeah, I'm level 15. That means the Lost Cave mission isn't at top anymore. Now it's normal. I think Claptrap is a birthday party mission uh, in Borderlands 2 while you accept it. It tells you that the mission is difficult because it's like a couple levels higher than you are. But it's not because, you know, it's just attending a birthday party for Claptrap. Alright, we're back here. And our mission is to scavenge for four sniper parts. It sounds super easy, but I bet it'll be fucking difficult and I will not fucking find them. Am I burning to death? I'm taking damage. Why am I taking damage? Where the fuck could possibly sniper rifle parts be? I don't think they were hidden in like chests. That'd be cruel if they fucking hid them in chests. It's like for fuck's sake. I'm already I already have to run around this place like a dumbass. And now you're gonna hit Hide shit in chests too. I'm gonna open every single box in this area. Let's not do that. My radar is picking up some enemies that way. It appears we have an interference. My radar has picked up enemy forces. There it is. Second one. Okay. Yeah, I really love the game so far though, I, I gotta say. I'm, I'm glad I fucking bought it and I'm glad. And I actually appreciate. Cyberpunk 70, 2077 being delayed because if it came out today or whatever the fuck it was supposed to come out I think on Monday yeah, It's 13, 14, 15. What the fuck was it supposed to come out? 13? No, 10. I think it was 10. No, wait. 15? Wait, it was something else. 15th is when uh, Game Awards don't accept games any uh, anymore. And Cyberpunk was supposed to come out after that because I remember how I trolled people by saying Cyberpunk will not get Game of the Year award because it's literally not qualified to get it. At least this year. Where the fuck is the fourth goddamn weapon port? How is it always with this fucking mission? Don't tell me they're like all the way here. That'd be fucking cruel if they just fucking. Like they don't tell you, like they just show you the marker, but they don't say like, oh, it's in, I don't know, the camp. No, it's like all over the place. I had to get out a shotgun. It sucks like donkey dick. Awesome. I love shotguns that suck. I could say every goddamn shotgun in this game fucking sucks. Alright. Increase the amount of health you gain when you're revived by a friend. Oh. When you have... This is useful, die hard. Hmm. You know what, all these fucking. I, I just as might fucking go with all these fucking skill trees. What, what is this? It's called a tank tree. Yeah, I might go over like a tank and then like a little bit of this. I might like. Fucking, I don't know, this seems useful. But then, like, all the. It would, like, I wouldn't mind having those. I would like that. Just, I don't know, when the fuck I would, like, get a chance to get those. Ooh, brother. Let's fucking find the fourth sniper rifle piece and never use it and just sell it because it's fucking useless. Oh, grenade. Yeah, so I appreciate Cyberpunk being delayed. I thought maybe when I'm done with Yakuza Kiwami 2 and it's DLC. Oh, there it is. That wasn't too bad. I would um, maybe record Mafia games. So it would like, give a little break to the Yakuza. But then I thought, like, okay, in between Yakuza games, I'm doing Borderlands 1. I'm just gonna keep fucking. Wait, what? Oh, I have to turn this in. Okay. Oh, because I'm in this area. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm in arid hills, not arid badlands. 
I'm so sorry. Mo killed, Marley killed. I got a feeling this will be a pain. Do I have machine? Like, what, what gun do I have? You got a rocket launcher. I got like a 30 damage times 9. Or is it times 9 just simply means that I have like 9 projectiles shooting out of my shotgun? And then, you know, if I have to land all of them, then I deal whatever amount of damage the game told me I will deal. Definitely level up in this game faster than in the Borderlands 2. And you know what I appreciate in this game that I kind of disliked in Borderlands 2? In Borderlands 2, weapon damage started to go into like ridiculous fucking levels of... You know, like what, like when you level 40 at the end of like all the DLCs, weapons might start like having 10 thousands of damage. But in this game, you know, when you're like really high level, your best weapon might have like 400 damage. And that's like a lot in this game. Because it's, I, I don't know, I feel like this game is balanced better. And Borderlands 3 does that too, where they don't fucking give you like guns with like million damage on them. They just fucking give you guns with like, I don't know, I think my like a couple thousand is like the biggest. What the fuck are the enemies I'm supposed to kill? No and Marley. Why are they? Did I kill them already? I didn't kill them because. It would tell me, wouldn't it? Maybe it's this way. It's like this isolated place. Seems important, right? In my opinion, they could not get rid of racks in Borderlands 3. Racks weren't that annoying. I could just like really easy to fucking shoot. With their tactic of flying right at you, it's kind of fucking easy to score fucking criticals at them. It's almost harder not to shoot them in a critical spot. Alright, where the fuck is Moe and Marley? Who the fuck is Moe and Marley? I keep looking at rocks and they just kind of look like enemies sometimes. Where, where the fuck are they? Do I have to come at a specific time? Oh, there they are, the fire one of Mo. Alright, I will do jack shit to this enemy. Fit together, break. Punch the fuck out of it. Can do it. This is a bit difficult, I gotta say. Maybe it's Mo that's harder. I don't know. Cause Marley just stands in the back. Ay ay ay. Check out that skill that gives me more health when I come back. I gotta get at least Moe killed. If I get Moe killed, then I will. Oh, fuck. There's Marley. Maybe he's weak to this. Ah, I fucking missed. And it takes ages to reload this fucking thing. Yeah, 
ahead of rocket launchers in this game. What the fuck is wrong with them? They don't seem to deal jack shit to enemies. Check it out. Maybe I'll shoot him. While he's opening his mouth, it seems to deal a lot of damage to him. You run out of friends, bitch! Well, I'm always way harder. Alright, maybe I shouldn't say that before I fucking defeat him. Seems like I'm missing the critical spots. Mm hmm, come on, stop dancing and open your fucking bloody mouth. This gun sucks, Jesus Christ. I like this gun, kind of. Like, I wish it was, you know, more powerful, but it's really accurate. I always appreciate accuracy. Sometimes I like not accurate weapons because I can. If a weapon hits like 100% accuracy, then that means I gotta be accurate too. Because if sometimes weapons have like non, not 100% accuracy. And let's say I aim like next to the target. Then the weapon might like shoot. Might just happen to shoot the enemy and not the fucking target. I mean, that's where I was shooting. So it's sometimes useful to have a non accurate weapon. I guess running away from me, Jesus. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him. Gotta get that ability. Cool if I get like a throw of throwing thing when I'm in this mode. And come on. Die, chief. There we go. <gasps> Is that a legendary weapon? No. Just kind of looked like legendary because there was money next to it. But this looks legendary. Might be worth. Oh, what? Oh, this is awesome. Finally, I got a good gun. Look at that. Isn't this better compared to the other assault rifle I get? It even deals fire damage, that's awesome. Even like aiming very accurately. It's like shooting all around the goddamn skag. I like hit. My gun ain't 100% accurate. Now, a sniper rifle 100% accuracy might be pretty useful. There was this gun in Borderlands pre sequel that you got for like a quest, and it hit 100% accuracy. That was pretty good, but it was like. That was my issue with that gun. I have to be 100% accurate. I wonder if I could give like elemental damage to my pipe. I've actually never played this game with Rick and I'm disappointed to carry the pipe. I was with melee attack, which is good. Oh, it's 
I don't know if rolling is a cool knife. Cool ramble with a knife. Sometimes when you go into like hunting stores and like websites, and when you look up knife, they have like a fucking category for Connorswick knives. It's like, are these fucking knives from Counter Strike? Like, what the fuck? Are they invented by Counter Strike? What, these weren't like real knives before? Hold on, because, you know, when I killed Mo, he vomited weapons and I didn't pick them up. Oh, there he is. He's still here. Uh, an SMG. Better than my everything, but I don't want it. Alright, I got a fucking cool assault rifle. Got good weapons now, hell yeah. And the cool thing about it is, you, check it out, it has a scope on it. And that was a problem I had with my shotgun and my pistol. And they're not very accurate. I mean, the pistol's accurate, but it doesn't have a scope. And, like, if an enemy's far away, like these guys on the fucking bridge over there, they kinda pissed me off. Then, um. Then yeah, it's gonna be annoying. But now, check it out, I can fucking... More or less accurately get rid of them. That's pretty cool. Pretty handy. And technically, Brick is the. I mean, Roland's the guy who's like the most efficient with assault rifles and stuff. But I don't care about Roland. I think Brick deal isn't even shotguns, Brick deal is. rocket launchers. Like, I'm not gonna use four different rocket launchers, come on. That must have hurt. Probably. Everything you do is must hurt. Where the fuck is enemies come back? Elder Skag, speaking of elders. What happened to Elder Ring? Is that even a thing still? Cause I'll be honest with you, I didn't follow them in any Elder Ring news. It's like, okay, if one of the launch games for PS5 is a Demon Souls remake, does that mean From Software was working on a Demon Souls remake this whole time and not Elden Ring? That's, that's kind of weird. That is kind of weird, if you ask me. I haven't seen any movies, really. I just kind of spent the whole yesterday while playing Yakuza 7. I'll keep calling it Yakuza 7, because it's just easier to say than Yakuza like a dragon. Oh, oh jeez, what the fuck. And also, it is a canonical entr entry, so like, why the fuck wouldn't it be called Yakuza 7? I feel like... A lot of, um, franchises are afraid to admit how many sequels they fucking made, so they don't go like, Yakuza 7, oh no, it's Yakuza like a dragon. It's funny because, uh, like a dragon... You know, this game is called Yak... Ah, oh, fuck, I used the wrong button. This game is called Yakuza 7 in Japan. Everywhere else, it's called Yakuza like a dragon. And you know what, uh... You know what Kiryu's name means? It means like a dragon. Thanks to you! So I guess if it was called Yakuza Like a Dragon in Japan, it would mean Yakuza Kiryu. So that's kind of funny. Alright, I got this cool shit and I got a... <gasps> artifact! A sniper right. Guys, we got an artifact. I'm gonna show you with... Oh, they're all legendary. That's cool. You can put them here. Wait, what? Yeah, elemental artifacts add elemental damage to reaction skills. Oh, now my punches have burned people to death. That's cool. Mm, I'm gonna go with this. This is very, 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 very useful. My brilliant, amazing weapons. Thank you so much. I'm sure I don't got anything better. This rocket launcher sucks. I don't fucking... I ain't gonna use rocket launchers ever again in this fucking game. 
That's garbage. Alright, turning on the quests. Uh, I guess we can do this next episode. Look, we're ending an episode in this fucking area yet again. So anyway, see you fellas in the next episode, bye.